Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you a problem I'm having with the door of my Frigidaire Gallery Series French door refrigerator. I'll put the exact model number in the corner below, but uh, hopefully if it's something that you're struggling with too, this will help you out. All right, so the first thing I noticed that kind of gave me a warning that I had a problem was all this condensation going on in the back of the fridge. You can see it some up there and even down uh, below. So the first thing you wanna do when you see something like that is check your door seals, right? So your door's got rubber all around here that's sealing. And if the door is latched properly and sealed, then you won't get that uh, cold air escaping and you won't see that condensation like that in the back. So when I went to check my door, I noticed that this flapper piece right here on the right side was not closing all the way. So you can kind of see it there, how it's pushing up against that seal in a weird way and creating a gap. And it's supposed to be all the way like that and shut. So as I kept trying to find the root of the problem, I noticed that this flapper, when it's open, you can see it's got, um, hook right here that it sits on but up top there is no hook and it looks like it has broken off or uh, pulled off so I looked around um, the bottom of my fridge down here and sure enough I found the piece that had broken off so this piece itself is only about uh, ten dollars you can get a replacement on Amazon um, that's exactly the same which is great if this is what broke for you uh, now my problem is you can see what broke for me is this, uh, the tab right here that this slides onto um, broke and you cannot order these apparently. So um, the solution if you need a new one of these is to buy a whole new door, which is gonna cost you around $400. Uh, so we're gonna at least try one DIY fix before we go that route. And I'm going to uh, get this slid back on there with a little bit of um, super glue and seeing if, if it can help hold um, this left side and not break off again. So to get the uh, hook, pin, whatever you wanna call it, back in place up top, you can see on bottom, so this actually slides down onto the tab, but goes up into this flapper, so you cannot do it with this flapper on here. You've gotta get the um, hook on, you gotta get the hook onto the door first, and then come back and put this flapper on. So to fix ours, we're gonna take this flapper off, and all you need to do that is a Phillips head screwdriver right here in the middle. Once you have that screw out of there, you'll lift the flapper up off of the, the pins here. And just be careful because there is a um, some wiring behind it that's going to still be attached. just set this right here for now and make sure it's resting gently while we um, get our upper pin back on there. I'm going to slide my tab back on here over the top of this. I think I've got just enough still there to catch it and I've just added some super glue in there just to help me hold it uh, and not pop off again since this part's broken. Slide that down until it bottoms out. And we'll just give it a second to let it dry. All right, so this part's a little bit tricky. Um, you might get a helping hand to help you, um, you know, tuck away the connections or something like that, uh, but you can't do it by yourself, so I'll just show you real quick. So what we have to do is get the top pin, um, get, this, get this door hinge slid over the top pin and the bottom pin at the same time. Uh, and you also gotta get uh, this kind of cover for the electrical portion uh, back on there, right? So um, if you get to a point where this is flapped or closed onto this flapper, um, it's magnetic here. Um, it'll be easier if you just pop it off of there. So I see I got that popped open now, but when you do pop it open, make sure you keep um, this lower pin into that groove there. Um, so everything lines up perfectly. Once you have that, ready to go. What I do is just come in here and make sure that connection is tucked away back there so we don't pinch it or anything. And then um, I've got the top pin on, but I still need to get this bottom pin. So I'll just slowly come up until I can get both pins on. And then once you get them both, it should slide down. Um, so now you can see I've got top pin 
on, bottom pin on. I've got my connection cover on there good. And my flapper hinge is working properly. Now that I've got all that done, I'll just put my screw back in and tighten that back up. I did have to um, move the whole flapper assembly up a little bit just to make sure that my hole aligned with the uh, screw hole there. All right, so we got everything back on and tightened up and we'll just shut this and make sure everything's shutting properly and um, we're not pulling this tab again. So shut your flapper and as you shut it, it'll go into that catch and open it back up. Everything looks nice and flat, which is good. Let's just try opening it up and taking a look though. And everything looks good. This isn't being pulled off. Um, might just try a little more glue in between the door and this pin just to try to help keep it from uh, pulling off again, which is obviously what happened last time. But other than that, everything looks good. Um, so we'll again shut it. Make sure everything's good. So now we got a good door seal here, which should help us with some of that condensation in the back. Um, and we'll just have to uh, warn our kids to be careful uh, slamming these doors so we don't pop any of these pieces off again. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know below. If that helped you out, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next project.